Hi guys, I go by the name of Mutati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great content every week. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you guys. In this video session, guys, it's just actually the undisputed Jela Tukuta sending a message to Honorable Boma in Rusambo, Lusaka Province Minister. It's very important to do a research before you do anything. Because when you're doing things without a research, I bet you end up in problems. You gotta be ready for what happens next. There is absolutely nothing wrong about humbling yourself because someone who is humble won't say no to anybody who is willing to advise them here is the one and only the undisputed Chiratukuta in the video Honorable Boman Lusambo, I would love to tell you that uh, sir, before you say something you need to do a research and you did not do your research very well, that's what I want to tell you and not everyone who speaks out is being paid by the opposition that notion uh, should not be there and the sad do not instill fear in people when they speak out that's an infringement of human rights you know you are going to only infringe people's right people who don't know their rights but people that know their rights you shall not infringe their rights you should remember that you are a public leader and you are accountable for every statement that you make and the statements and the empty threats that you made today will haunt you one day honorable woman lusambo hunger has paid me hunger and poverty has paid me you know and i want to remind you that during your time as a youth you were a diehard mmd youth and you used to attack uh, my late leader and may you so rest in peace michael chilushasata Honorable Lusambo, you are on record of beating people. You are on record of beating PF cadres, PF supporters. You are on record of beating those who are opposing uh, the MMD government. And no one, no one touched you. No one threatened you. I remember I was with uh, President Sata in, um, in Chama. And he said, uh, you young people, you, uh, my supporters, you should be like Boman Lusambo, you know. Now, Honorable Boman Lusambo, um, there is no opposition that has paid me for your own information. And I want to just uh, tell you something, sir, that I'm not a cameraman, I'm a photographer get your facts right i'm a photographer and not a cameraman and you need to apologize on that statement i challenge you to apologize this thing of threatening people should end this is not kaunda time where people should be threatened and people should is that, is, people should be no, no 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 sir you have been appointed by the president to serve the people of zambia with dignity and not to mistreat the Zambian people. I want you to remind I want to remind you that in 2014, 2015, this person you called this granted cameraman is the one that documented President Lungu. Okay? This guy documented President Lungu countrywide. I went with President Lungu around the country. You were not there. You just came after we had dug. You had broken the ground and everything was working very well. Then you came. You came after me in the PF party, sir. Okay? And um, you found we had already done everything else. And I respect you as a member of the party but you need to ask Anthony Mukwita, KBF, Emmanuel Mwamba, Brian Hapunda, even the president himself which people formed what was his media team. The people that formed the, the media team for the president that brought him and that ushered President Lungu into office. I'm not apologizing for anything. Because what I'm saying is that what is happening in our country is wrong. And I love President Lungu more than anyone else. 
the person who loves the president will open up and tell the president uh, the truth. And if we love our president, you and I should help him in this fight against corruption. Now, leadership calls for humility and not threats. Leadership calls for humility. Okay? In your time, you threaten sir. You threaten sir. You remember? You threaten sir. Okay? And I remember very well when Wasata, uh, you know, in Chief Murilo, Dr. Guy Scott was there when he told us to say, uh, you should be like Roman or something. So, you should not use your position of power to threaten citizens. You should use your position of power to inspire young people. Inspire the young people. When you inspire the young people, you leave a legacy. What kind of legacy do you want to leave? Because you're not going to be in that posterity judges people. Posterity judges people. We have all, we have a lot of information about you, sir. I never mentioned you. We never mentioned you. And I just want you to I want to let you know that whatever information you have about me is wrong. Ask everyone who knows me, from pre, even our, our loving president, our dearly beloved president. If you ask him, I have won six international awards. I have represented Zambia to more than 50 countries in my capacity. I have marketed Zambia to the international community. I need to remind you that. I have marketed this country. I should, let me tell you, sir, that I shoot for Idols SA. I shoot for Vogue magazine. I shoot for South Africa Fashion Week. I've won six international awards. I've done, I, I do works for CNN. I receive, I receive a hundred dollars per image. I represented Zambia, okay, at the World Summit in South Korea. I have represented Zambia at uh, the photography and fashion in Indrava in Paris. I have represented Zambia in a lot of countries. Okay, so we need not to threaten citizens. We need to respect citizens who are airing out because what they are doing is they are helping the president. If the president does not, we have no access to the president. What means do you want us to use? Okay. For speaking out, for, for speaking out the truth and for for hearing out our views that people are suffering, that there's a lot of corruption in the country, you will come and threaten us. No, 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 no. You know? And, uh, we all come from the copper belt. <laughs> we all come from the copper belt. Honorable Sam, we all come from the copper belt. So, you know, uh, you need to inspire young people. You need to inspire young people. The way you are speaking, are you inspiring young people? Are you sure you are inspiring young people? Are you sure that uh, the people looking up to you like me are being inspired by the way you are speaking, your language, the way you are... Uh, it's not inspiring at all. We are not going to live in a country where we are intimidated. When things are wrong, things are wrong. And you are not helping the president, you are decampaigning the president in the way that you are speaking. Okay. Then, um, in 2014-2015, this person you called the disgruntled man, ask Ahona the vice president, uh, Inonge Mutukawina, Mrs. Wina, 
Ask her about Cornelius Tuguta. Ask her. The role that this person you are calling disgruntled played in ushering President Longo into power. Even the president himself will tell you. Honorable Boma Nusambo, I know the party, the Patriotic Front Party, too well. Too well. You are not going to intimidate us. I actually owe, you actually owe me an apology for the way you spoke out and said discounted. I challenge you to apologize. I challenge you to apologize. Because, you know, the, the, this trend of threatening people, of instilling fear in citizens, that's not how you rule. True leaders do not instill fear in the citizens. True leaders do not instill fear and start threatening people. Oh, they are naked, they are naked. What do you mean by naked? Are you planning to, to kill me? Are you planning to kill me? That in itself is a threat. When you say these young people are, 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 are you know, these young people are naked, you know, first things first, you have wrong information about me that I'm being funded by the opposition. Which opposition is funding me? There is no opposition that's funding me. Hunger and poverty and everything that's happening in our country is what has paid me. For how long are we going to be quiet and see things going wrong? Alright, that's all right for you today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you guys. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pundu. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.